She encouraged that crazy behavior. What is she talking about? No boys over. What are you talking about? Everybody in this room is grown, ma'am. Why are you here? Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. It's Maya, aka Pretty My, and today I'm gonna give y'all a juicy, juicy story time. Um, as y'all can see by the title, this story is about my crazy college roommate. When I say crazy, like I mean crazy, like crazy probably has something wrong with her, very much something. I'm just so ready, like y'all, I've been so ready to do this video all week, and I'm finally like able to do it. So here we are. This is my baby, like I said. She just woke up from a nap and she wanted to be Carrie. And if anybody knows me, like my dog is so spoiled. She's, I just feel like she's so cute. So she gets whatever she wants. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the story. I don't even want to like talk no more. I'm just ready to get into this. Like when I tell, please just listen, just listen. All of this happened while I was in college. So as you guys know, or if you're new, you wouldn't know. But um, I went to school in Miami. I live like by Tampa. So Miami's like four hours away. Obviously, I have to get a dorm. Nobody's commuting. Um, so, yeah, I was always excited to go down there for college. I've been saying that for, like, two years at that point. So, in college, my dorm room was, like, everybody had a private room. And we shared a common area. Um, because if you know me, I would never be, like, in a room, roommates, where you have to share room. I don't want to share my space. I need a private room. Yes, I need a private room. So yeah, private rooms, doors locked, shared a common space. There was not a like living room area, nothing, just kitchen and bathroom, to be honest. So that's kind of the setup of this dorm. So of course when you go to college, you're all excited, just setting your room up or whatever. You know the vibes, like that first that first week, like you'd be real excited. Especially, this is my freshman, this is my freshman year. I feel like the last thing on your mind is like your roommates. I mean, you kind of want to get to know them, become friends but you're not thinking like are they gonna be crazy i mean i kind of was thinking that i'm still cool with two of my roommates to this day so i had to ask them to kind of help me tell this story so yeah girl resources you know it's legit like i said the first week first two weeks whatever you're getting to know everybody um everybody in my dorms was pretty much cool except for this one roommate that we're gonna be talking about today um but like you know everybody else everybody else over here um everybody else had like a group chat going on like just with very close friends but she was just kind of quiet at first but then weird first it started listen it started this bitch would cook flounder in the microwave and it would stink up the whole entire dorm and anybody inside would have to leave your room or the main room you would just have to leave like it just was so stink the smell traveled bitch it traveled like it was so loud like she even had a nickname and i don't know who came up with it because i don't think it was my roommates so i don't know like that's how loud it was everybody knew her but they called her flounder fish bitch because of the flounder fish that she cooked just rancid just stink just disgusting <laughs> okay yeah they call her flounder fish bitch um so she was already known for being kind of weird um i don't really think nobody knew her that well whatever aside from that uh, of course, like I said, we share a common area. We had a kitchen without a stove and a bathroom. So in the kitchen, obviously people put their food in the fridge. I personally never put my food in that fridge unless it was like an emergency. Like I had leftovers because I went out or something. I would not put my food out there. <laughs> no. Because already the fridge was kind of dirty because it's just college. So no. But unfortunately, my roommates did put their food out there. So one of my roommates, let's call her Kylie, she used the fridge frequently, um, even though she had a mini fridge. Just because, you know, mini fridge isn't going to fit everything, and I think she had her own food. Whatever. So one time, Kylie put her cookies in the fridge, and when she came back and looked at them, the perimeter of the cookie was nibbled. Like, all the way around, it was bite marks, but she left the middle of the cookie. Or whoever did it left the middle of the cookie. Yeah, like a rat or something. Like, why you chew? No, like nibbled all the way around. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't even eat it. Like, what was the point of that? Why you didn't just take it? Never knew who did it. I mean, eventually we'll find out. Listen, we're gonna find out, but you know, at the moment, it's just like, what? Like, why did you do that? And if you was gonna eat my food, why you didn't just eat it? What is this? Everybody's confused. Like, when I first heard this, I'm just like, what? Like, why, why? It's just so many questions, like, why, first of all. And then one time she left a quesadilla 
like in a bag with five dollars in the fridge i think the five dollars was her change like by accident because she went out to eat so she put all that in the fridge and she came back the next day the quesadilla was half eaten and then the they took the five dollars so somebody's stealing food and money just like taking anything they see but then they left all the change at the bottom of the bag obviously she asking everybody who did it but if she's cool with three of her roommates you know and not the other one obviously like <laughs> we, you already know she wears she was shit like the fish stuff and we'll get into it but she gets caught doing stuff all the time so yeah everybody knows who it is there's no need to ask around but every time you confront her she's just like alice you don't know what you're talking about she'll just act like she could never she's so innocent so yeah it's really like nothing you can do except for leave, stop leaving food out there but at the same time you have you need somewhere to put your food yeah kylie food was getting nibbled but it wasn't even just her because my other roommate we're gonna call her tony she would put her stuff in the fridge and she said her food was getting nibbled too so everybody in the dorm kind of knew it was an issue everybody knew that somebody's nibbling the food they were saying like she was trying to pretend to be a rat or something so she wouldn't get caught like i don't really know what made her do that but girl what are you doing like just weird everybody knew it was her everybody knew it was her so like in the middle of the semester everybody's getting comfortable with each other like i said had group chats was hanging out like outside of the dorm and stuff except for the one girl let's give her a name let's call her sarah okay everybody hanging out except for sarah and there's nothing wrong with that but she's just weird so yeah don't yeah obviously she's not coming with us so, since everybody's so comfortable like in the dorm some people like sometimes you just leave your door unlocked which sounds dumb but it's just like i feel like everybody's done that at one point in your dorm but like when i say what i'm gonna say that will sound dumb in a second because yeah bitches be stealing so a lot of my roommates will like leave their doors unlocked which is cool or whatever because everybody's comfortable like she's like i know you bitches don't steal so whatever because nothing's really happening except for that weird food shit but you never think you never think how far people are really gonna go like it's really crazy started leaving doors unlocked um just like when you're in a hurry to go to class or whatever fine totally cool should be able to do that with a normal roommate so it really started my roommate tony and this is like the most serious thing this girl she came back home tony she came back home her laptop is gone just disappeared out of nowhere and then of course everybody's spending the next few days looking for it talking about it and why does it just show up out of thin air one day on her bed like nothing happened it was unlocked obviously everybody knows who it was it's the same girl who steals out the fridge so of course everybody's asking her like i feel like that was probably one of the most serious things she ever like took like she's weird but that was just a whole nother level like girl what the fuck why are you in people's room first of all in their room when they're not home like that's a red flag right there there were several roommate meetings like with the ta and there were several roommate meetings without the tattoo and it's just the same thing every time she just denied deny deny can't be proved so it's just like whatever people still cut their doors a lot <laughs> which sounds so dumb but like just time to time whatever the reason was some people kept the doors unlocked still i think after that pretty much tony started locking her door because it would happen to her but you always think it's never gonna happen to me girl yes it will <laughs> okay so for instance my roommate kylie left her door unlocked like i said she has a mini fridge in her room um, so she leave food in there all the time, which is fine or whatever. I guess one day she left a bagel in there and then when she came home and who really knows when it happened because she might not have even opened her fridge the same day, but she looked in her fridge and the bagel, the perimeter of the bagel is eaten off and only the hole in the middle is left. Why? Why would somebody do that? Like, it's just so, first of all, that's disgusting because she had to be going through her stuff to be finding stuff in her mini fridge like that's not the only thing she was in and that's disgusting to me i just no that couldn't have been me that couldn't have been <laughs> that could not have fucking been me like we would probably have to fight right there like that's when i would be ready to fight no and the fact that the same thing happened in the main fridge so everybody knows who it is like that don't just happen your stuff don't just get nibbled off the perimeter kylie she wasn't safe if she used the fridge and she wasn't safe if she even used her own fridge because her food could still get nibbled off another thing kylie said is that she kind of thought some of her water bottles was dip disappearing out of her room because she had water bottles in there too that's enough for her to start locking her door kylie started locking her door um and then pretty much after that point i think everybody's over the lock because who wants somebody in their room that's disgusting but y'all when i tell you it get worse listen this girl another thing she would do which is so crazy to me to this day like so crazy she had her mom spend days over in the dorm sleep there and then she would come up to people and like 
tell them not to do certain shit in the dorm. She was like, don't have boys over. She was like quoted saying that multiple times, like for, to all my roommates. She said that to everybody, don't have boys over. That's a bad influence on my daughter. She's not it meant to be in that environment. She said stuff like that. She encouraged that crazy behavior. What is she talking about? No boys over. What are you talking about? Everybody in this room is grown, ma'am. Why are you here? She slept in a room with her daughter. I'm not saying like she slept nearby. She literally slept in the room. She slept in the room with Sarah. What is she doing here for days? Why is your mom sleeping in your college dorm? Basically, y'all remember how I said everybody was uh, locking the doors at this point? Unfortunately, my roommate Kylie, she lost her keys and she had to go somewhere for the weekend. I guess she was going to stay with her family for the weekend, but she lost her keys, of course, right before she left. So her door had to be unlocked, like had to stay unlocked the whole weekend. So she comes home from her vacation, whatever, her family time. Why when she walked into her dorm, Sarah is standing in her dorm holding like seven water bottles like in her arms like this girl <laughs> literally caught red-handed and it's just like she denied 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 everybody knows it's her but to literally get caught in somebody's room girl kylie's standing in the door sarah walks past kylie smiling holding the water bottles and then goes to her room and closes the door like nothing happened i just want to know how she got fast kylie because that could not have been me like in all seriousness that could not have been me i'm still cool with kylie and before i got on here she told me that she just kind of froze like in shock and she just sat on her bed for a second like what the fuck just happened started texting everybody to come to the dorm and told it told everybody what happened and then she started getting mad and wanted to fight so this other roommate let's call her sierra she's in the dorm now like everybody came back to the dorm she's in the dorm trying to stop kylie from fighting sarah because sarah was just got her room with all of her shit in her hands like girl what are you doing yeah, sierra's trying to stop them from fighting um because now kylie ready to throw hands as she should because this girl was just caught in your room i'm surprised hands weren't thrown before everybody got there but i think she was just in disbelief like what the fuck bitch what the fuck and she was going the whole weekend so imagine how many times Sarah was in her room. Kylie is ready to throw hands. Like, she's really mad as fuck. And, like, this bitch loves to fight. So, yes, she's ready to fight. Everybody's asking Sarah, like, what the fuck? You're a thief and you're a liar because you always said it's not you. You're weird. Like, what were you doing? And she's just like, no, no, no. Please don't be mad at me, Kylie. It wasn't me. Like, I didn't do it. <laughs> bitch, the water bottles are behind her. And mind you, she got caught with them literally in her hands and smiled. We know it was you. Like, why are you sitting here lying to everybody's face at this point? Like, this far in, you're still lying. You were literally caught. She's, like, begging Kylie to forgive her. She's, like, about to cry, begging her. Please forgive me. It wasn't me. Blase, blase. Girl, then who was it? She just saw you walk out of her room. Delusional. It's giving delusional. And then eventually she's like, sorry, I won't do it again. Like, please forgive me, Kylie. She's just begging her to forgive her. Meanwhile, of course, this girl begging her face, just making her matter. So Kylie really wants to fight. My roommate, Sierra, closed her up in her room so she wouldn't beat this girl ass. And she was just told to calm down or whatever. Because at this point, Sarah is just testing her. Because why are you begging for forgiveness when you were just caught in her room? You need to go sit the fuck down. So yeah, eventually, I guess Sierra told Kylie to take a walk to cool off or whatever because she's just like heated she mad as hell like as she should be literally as she should be so i guess kylie leaves on a walk and then sarah runs out after her and y'all that's the last time we ever see sarah like never saw her again never saw her face again uh, i'm not even sure when she moved out of the dorm she just never came back like from according to everybody nobody ever saw her after that Except for Kylie, because remember she followed Kylie, so I asked Kylie what happened. And she said that when, she, when Sarah followed her outside, she was begging for forgiveness. And she's like, please, Kylie, forgive me. I'll never do it again. I'm so sorry. She's like, please don't be mad at me, saying stuff like that. Like, And then Kylie's just like, girl, I don't even know you. Like, why are you literally begging me right now? Yeah, she followed her all the way around the school. At one point, I guess she just fucking blow off on that bitch, because why are you still in my face? So she blows up, and she's like, why are you following me? Get out of my face before I fucking punch you in your face. Like, like before I beat your ass, literally. I guess after that Sarah leaves that's the last time she saw her too I don't know what happened to her I heard she moved to Tampa which is not a good look for me bitch because I'm here and then later I guess I found out from Kylie like the other day that 
apparently she was dating like the school's heroin dealer at that time too and like he dealt coke and heroin or whatever so she was already into some weird shit from the get-go that just concludes my story this bitch was crazy a lot of people think she was like a pathological liar because she did not know how to stop lying it was like she was trying to convince herself i hope she didn't stay with nobody after that because i guess her mom pulled her out of college because she's not built for that be careful if you're going to college don't trust your roommates too soon but yeah you guys let me know what y'all think down below um comment down below if you have a crazy story i just want to hear other people's because i just can't believe that shit like this really happens like you would never think that will happen to you and let me know what y'all want to see next for vlogmas i'm so glad we did a story time i never do story times let me know if y'all want more story times um because i have a couple other ones but i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas and make sure you like comment and subscribe enter your notification bell on so you can be notified every time i make a post especially for vlogmas because we're posting every day for 25 days but yeah, with all that being said, be careful in college, girl. And I'm going to see you in my next video.